the World Economic Forum had some great news to share with us today. A short video was placed on Facebook. Let's see what it is. Oh great, here we go. This is yet one other of those teary-eyed renewables will make you feel good videos. Wait, what? One megawatt? Well, yes, that's because it's not evacuated. It's sprawling with activity. Did you know that after the 1986 accident, the other reactors stayed active for years and that tens of thousands of people have worked at the Chernobyl plant ever since and still do? No, it doesn't. There's nothing easier about it. It will just be a renewable plant like any other. You still need to build the entire plant and connect it to the power lines. I would say that this is one of the biggest construction marvels of our age. It, it is an arch that has hermetically sealed the damaged reactor building. The arch itself also serves as a deconstruction platform that will be used to remove the old sarcophagus and deconstruct the damaged reactor building. Sure, that's why people run around on this site not wearing any real protection gear to speak of, except of course the usual kit for construction workers. True, however, most of it has now become generally inert, and each year people travel to the exclusion zone to learn what is going on there today. That's probably true. If I were the Ukraine, I would contact UNESCO, the UN branch for World Heritage Sites, and try to turn the exclusion zone into a historical site. I would modernize all the buildings around the Chernobyl reactor facility to be used by the deconstruction effort, scientists, and yes, tourists. That's true, and that's why nature has won in the exclusion zone. It is home to large wildlife like wild boar, wolves, European bison, and wild horses. Let's keep it that way. Yes, but it has turned out that the people who stay there have not experienced adverse effects from it. Additionally, as I've already pointed out, it has become a huge wildlife sanctuary. Which is a pitiful amount of money in the energy business. If you would increase that amount by a thousand, you wouldn't be able to build more than 250 megawatts of capacity. Okay, so that will be enough to build 22 megawatts of capacity. Hardly anything to get excited over. Which I lament, because I value wildlife more than renewables, especially in an area largely reclaimed by nature. Why would we reverse this? To me, this is nothing but a filthy PR stunt at the cost of nature. And that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.